Bob mentioned several of those limitations, but could you uh, kind of give us a, a list so that the listener can understand what are some of the limitations of where someone on the sex offender registry can be and who they can interact with? Sure. Um, so as far as the interaction, we get calls about that all the time as to, well, can I go to a family function and hang out with my uh, uncle's, you know, children on the other side of the family? And we, yes, I mean, there's nothing that would prevent a person on the sex offender registry from attending a family function, talking to children or nothing like that. It, the only ones that are actually delineated, to my knowledge, is you can't be a coach or a trainer or a manager for any sort of uh, a child athletic team. Um, the Halloween uh, restrictions that Bob talked about, uh, very finely defined as far as like what you can and cannot do, having your lights off at a certain time, putting a sign up and, and what needs to be done. Um, and then the main limitations that are, are codified in, in our laws are, you know, not residing within a thousand feet of a school uh, or daycare, um, not loitering within 500 feet of a school or a park, as I said. And to my knowledge, as I, I sit here, I uh, oh, there's also uh, museums 